is the uh, solar collector I built last year. And the inside of it. This houses the fan, and I put a uh, power meter on it. And it's September 14th. 2010. That's when we had 418 hours on it. We just started it up and about running about 9.30 this morning. Show you the outlet on the top. to be in good condition. Made it through the summer and uh, we're going to run it again this winter. Uh, hello again. It's uh, September 14th, 2010. I just started my uh, collector up for the winter season. Um, clouds are starting to roll in. It's uh, right at noon right now. I did have 170 degrees on it. My average temperature last year was around 172 at noon. And it would stay that way until about 4 in the afternoon. And uh, looks like it's going back up again. Uh, 25 after 12, um, September 14, 2010. Started my collector up this morning. Started up about 9:30, and now it's at. Uh, let's see. about 60 degrees outside, but temperature didn't seem to matter last year. It didn't seem to matter what temperature it was outside, but average about 172. I had about, uh, I have an hour meter hooked up to it, and it ran 418 hours last year from, I put it, installed it in November first week of November and I ran it till the middle of April. And give you another look at the collector outside. It's kind of getting cloudy out. It's down to about oh, 156 right now. But still running. Um, it's all steel and aluminum construction. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's just a piece of steel siding here. Um, steel 2x4s. It's only 4 inches thick. It's set at a 60 degree angle for uh, a little close to the 45th parallel. That's about it. And this is my second collector I'm building. Obviously a lot different than the hot air one that I've got in my house now. This is going to be uh, hot water and hot air. Has uh, pop cans with uh, copper tubes running through the center of them. It's a lot different construction. Um, there's no glue on the cans. Uh, they're physically held in uh, between the co um, held in by the copper pipes. 
very tightly. It uh, ended up being a, a nice tight arrangement. Let's see if you can see the water manifold inside of the air manifold. Well, you can see that. Air manifold is just a four inch downspout. Come back out here. I don't know if you can see inside there or not. This is the uh, air side of the manifold. manifold and that's it